We're asked to evaluate the definite integral. We have the definite integral from zero to pi divided by three of negative five tan squared theta minus five d theta. We know we need to determine the antiderivative, but looking at the antiderivative formula that is shown on the right, notice how we don't have one for tan squared theta or tan squared x. So in this case, we'll have to change the form of the integrand function in order to determine the antiderivative. If we take a closer look at negative five tan squared theta minus five, notice how we can factor out the greatest common factor of five, but if we factor out negative five, we have negative five times the quantity tan squared theta plus one, and tan squared theta plus one should remind us of the Pythagorean identity tan squared x plus one equals secant squared x, and therefore we can substitute secant squared theta for tan squared theta plus one, which gives us negative five secant squared theta, which means we can write the original integral as the definite integral from zero to pi divided by three of negative five secant squared theta. And this is good news because notice how we do have an antiderivative formula for secant squared theta or secant squared x. But before we apply the formula, let's also factor out the negative five. This is equal to negative five times the def integral from zero to pi divided by three of secant squared theta d theta. And now we can determine the antiderivative, which we now know is equal to tangent theta. So this gives us negative five times the antiderivative of tangent theta. And again, the limits of integration are from zero to pi divided by three. Because we factored out the five here, we do need to be careful. We are going to have negative five times the quantity big F of pi divided by three minus big F of zero, which gives us negative five times the quantity tangent of pi divided by three minus tangent zero. And just for review, to determine the tangent of pi divided by three, I have a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle here where we can label the short leg one, the hypotenuse two, and the long leg square root three. Pi divided by three is the 60 degree angle here. Tangent pi divided by three is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us square root three divided by one, or just square root three which gives us negative five times the quantity square root three minus tangent zero is equal to zero. Simplifying, we have negative five square root three as the value of the definite integral. I hope you found this helpful.